All right, Jay, let's wrap it up with an old favorite. We're going head to head. These are fantasy players of comparable skill most of the time playing in the same game. It's a fun little way that we break these guys down, Jay. Let's begin with Kansas City and Houston. Jamal Charles, this is sort of a layup against Alfred Blue. Interesting that Houston didn't make a move to get Pierre Thomas or somebody else in that backfield after the Arian Foster injury. It's a layup in name only. I think Alfred Blue will do very well uh, in a short, uh, little short stints uh, for the Texans. I will say this. I'm going to take Jamal Charles for obvious reasons. Okay. He was my number one pick during the year. You start your, your stars. But I will say this, though. In, since what? Being drafted in the NFL 2008, whatever it was, um, Jamal Charles has never, never rushed for 100 yards in week one. Really? Well, I learned that Jamal Charles is not a wide receiver, so he has a pretty good chance of scoring in that Kansas City offense. Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, you know, in that span, he's averaged 77 total yards and 0.6 touchdowns, which is respectable in fantasy. Sure. Just don't expect him to go off for 150 and 1. All right, let's go to another game. Old faces and new places. Frank Gore against LaShawn McCoy with the hamstring. Probably not going to be 100%, but who do you like in this matchup? I would go McCoy healthy. Uh, I think Gore's going to do good enough, like 1,200 total yards, basically what he brings to the table pretty much every year. Uh, for the year, I like McCoy, but for week one, I cannot guarantee more than 12 or 15 touches, 12 to 15 touches, I should say, for um, McCoy. I mean, the injury, there's no point in messing with the hamstring injury, okay? The Bills are going to be in it with their defense all year, sure. um, even if they lose to the Colts, which is obviously something that can happen, and I actually predict that it will. I think the Colts will be undefeated. I mentioned this last week. They will take an undefeated record into Pittsburgh the first week of December. The addition of the Colts that I really like is Andre Johnson, who I still think has plenty left in the tank. Let's match him up against Sammy Watkins. Who do you like out of those two? Uh, it's not about Andre Johnson versus Sammy Watkins. It's Andrew Luck versus Tyrod Taylor. Give me Andre Johnson. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, Battle of the Jordans here. Jordan Cameron, who's looking pretty good in teal and orange, against Jordan Reed of the Washington Hoonahoos. <laughs> Who do you like in this? I have no problem saying Redskins, okay? That's their name, and until they change it, I don't really care. It's a football uh, team. I think of a football team. I have a lot of Miami followers who are just completely distraught. They, they don't like the chemistry between Ryan Tannehill and Jordan Cameron in preseason. And to that, I say it's preseason. Get a life, okay? Jordan Cameron <laughs> will be fine in time. But for this week, though, I think Jordan Reed is the better fantasy option. I think Kirk Cousins will be Joe Flacco good. Andy Dalton good. Like, he is not a bottom-tier fantasy quarterback. In, a, in, in an offense where Jay Gruden wants him to succeed, I think uh, the Cousins will do very well. And by extension, Jordan Reed should do very well as well. Uh, we saw what Ryan Tannehill did with Charles Clay. I think he's going to do even more with Jordan Cameron. Same game, Lamar Miller and Alfred Morris. Who do you like in the backfields out of this matchup? Uh, I've been given the choice, uh, what, seven drafts or so to take Lamar Miller or Alfred Morris because they're both those kind of guys end of round two, beginning of round three, that you're going to do it. Right. And every single time I went Miller, uh, I don't think anything should change here against the Redskins. The Redskins still can't really defend anybody. And uh, looking at Miller's numbers, yeah, he didn't have more than 20 rushes in any game last year. We may, But keep in mind, though, he had 19 touches, 19 carries, I should say, his final two games last year. He may break, he may go over that 20 mark in week one, so let's give the slight nod. Uh, to Miller. Yeah, well, Daniel Thomas out of the picture finally. Lamar Miller will get the carries he deserves. Guess what, Jay? We're at a show. That's it for us. Hope you enjoyed it. We're going to do a new show next week. Stay tuned for that. You can follow us on Twitter at Kickoff Express. He's at ATL underscore Jay Clemens. I'm Josh Burkle at Josh Burkle. Until then, we'll see you on the internet. So long. <laughs>